Hey guys, we're out here at Bear Creek Arsenal again, and today we're going to talk a little bit about our 762 by 39 uh, caliber AR. Now, a lot of people like to assimilate this to the AK-47, and while there are some characteristics of an AK-47 here, it's not an AK-47. It's still an AR-15. It's just chambered in 762 by 39. Uh, some of the similar characteristics that we happen to have in this model right here in front of us, it does still have a side charging handle on this one, and it does still take the funny shaped magazines. Uh, outside of that though, every other part in here is your standard AR-15 part. Uh, the bolt has been reconfigured to fit the different size chamber that a 762 by 39 requires, uh, but it still looks just like an AR-15 bolt. Uh, some of the things that we have done to ours here at Bear Creek is we have added the enhanced firing pin and the reason we added that enhanced firing pin was because the steel cased ammo is constructed of much harder parts than your typical brass ammo. Um, the steel case stuff, it was primarily made for the Russian and Chinese made firearms like the AK-47 or the SKS. Uh, but for the AR-15 platform, you know, it's, it's a little bit more of a delicate platform, so it can't be, uh, it doesn't handle the hard stuff quite as easy. So the enhanced firing pin was developed and inserted into this, and that gives you the ability to get a little more protrusion into the primer of the steel cased ammo. The primers that come in the 762 by 39 ammo are Berdan primers, and those are much harder and a much different type of construction than the boxer primers that are used in any brass ammo made here in the United States. Something else to consider when putting a 762 upper on your uh, standard mil spec lower is your hammer. Your hammer follow through may need to be stepped up as far as strength goes in addition to the enhanced firing pin. Uh, I'm not saying that everybody will need that, but if you just happen to have a reduced power hammer spring uh, in your lower, you know, for your when you're shooting your 5.56 so you can get the speedier trigger pulls and all that niftiness people like to do, well that lightened or reduced power hammer spring may not still have enough force to hit the enhanced firing pin and still get a good ignition on the primers of the steel cased ammo. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, overall, the 762 by 39 really is a great round. Uh, even if you're looking for just something to kind of shoot around in the backyard, you know, just plinking at the range, uh, the 762 by 39 ammo and the steel cased version is gonna be way cheaper than your traditional brass 556. So that's one of the big selling points in this caliber, especially for being an AR, because you can buy an AR uh, chambered in the 762 by 39 a whole lot cheaper than you can uh, an AK-47. Uh, parts are more readily available for the AR than they are the AK. Just being able to work on the AR is a whole lot easier than being able to work on an AK. So if you're looking to get into the world of 762 by 39 the AR platform is a good way to go just keep the understanding that you may have to do you know a tweak or two here in order to get it to run to suit your individual needs but overall uh, if you're just looking to have some fun at the range just go out and shoot some rounds you know just really be able to relax and enjoy your shooting experience 762 by 39 is a great way to go and being able to hunt with a 30 caliber projectile, you really can't go wrong there. Uh, they make great loads in the 762 by 39 that'll get the job done on most medium size to large game, uh, whitetail deer, mule deer, things like that. You can use a 762 by 39 and really get the job done. Uh, I know a lot of hog hunters like a 762 by 39 for uh, dispatching of hogs and it's just one of those things where if you get it, you'll have a lot more uses out of it than you might think you do. Uh, something else to consider about the 762 by 39 is the magazines. You do want to get a dedicated 762 by 39 magazine. Uh, it's just shaped a little bit differently than your standard 556 mags. Uh, the followers are a little bit different inside the magazines to adjust for the shorter 
casing of the 7.62. Uh, you can put a couple of rounds of 7.62 into a standard 5.56 mag and it will work. But if you try to load this magazine to capacity, the follower is going to wind up getting put to a weird angle and your rounds are going to start coming out crazy and you're going to have problems with feeding and, and cycling those next rounds. So get you a dedicated 7.62 by 39 magazine. You should be good to go. The ones we use here to test with are by ASC and they function great for us. Uh, changing out your buffers and stuff like that, that's gonna be a user dependent kind of thing. Uh, most of the setups that we have here at Bear Creek Arsenal, you can use your standard carbine buffer on it um, and it works just fine. The recoil on it is enough where it doesn't beat you up too bad where you, you, know, you feel it terribly at the end of the day. Uh, you can go out and shoot a couple hundred rounds and be just fine. Uh, if it is a little more, got a little more punch for you than maybe what you like, you know, it's, it's too much of a step up for maybe your 5.56. Five, you can step up your buffer weights uh, to absorb some of that felt recoil. You can also try an adjustable gas block to tune it down just a little bit, you know, to really, again, tune the rifle to your individual needs. Outside of that, guys, that's going to wrap it up for us today. If you like anything we talked about, like uh, any of the products that we've shown in these videos, we'll post some links down below. Make sure you give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel here. And I just want to tell everybody to stay safe, keep slinging lead.